It's a dead, obviously a tough game the other day against Oklahoma. I mean, I know you guys got to put it behind you, but you got to learn from it too. So how is today just getting back and regrouping, knowing you got another big test on Wednesday against Auburn? Uh, yeah, today was just a big learning day. Um, you know, we got into it, started off with some film, um, saw all my mistakes, and, you know, we went in straight into practice and learned from it. Talk about those mistakes. What is it that you most want to work on and correct going into the offense? Uh, physicality. Um, Coach harped on that after the game. You know, we do got to be more physical and we got to play a full 40 minute game um, with that same physicality. Auburn, uh, they have a really good true freshman, Jabari Smith. You know, if you want to talk about him being a lottery pick next year, I know you guys, not exactly the same team, but you beat him a year ago. Are they, I don't know how much of film study you've done yet, but are they a lot different than last year's team? What's kind of your assessment of, of the team you're going to be facing? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're. They're different, but that we know that they um, kind of play kind of like us, and they fast pace. Um, it's going to be a fast paced ball game, offensively and defense, defensively. But um, you know we're going to approach just like any other game. You know we're going to scout them and you know just attack it just like any other game. There were so many COVID disruptions last year. How has the team been more cohesive, knowing that you've had these the consistency of practices and games without the disruptions? Uh, that's definitely helped. Um, it's brought our freshmen in a lot better than it did last year. Um, we got a full summer. Um, so yeah, I think everyone's up to pace and you know, we're ready to look, look forward. How much do you kind of relish these opportunities against top teams? I know you guys, you're a top team too, but you got a chance to see how you did against Miami, played Oklahoma, you got Auburn, you got other big games coming up. I mean, you get excited for it. You get excited for every game, but, but you like the, you like these games kind of like a measuring stick to kind of see how you match up. Right, right. It's, um, you know, we look at it as just opportunities to show you know, like the people that what we're made of to showcase what we can do, um, show that we're supposed to be up there with those teams. You talked about the physicality, and you know conference play is going to be like that night in and night out too. So that's a good preparation for conference play. Nah, definitely. Um, even like last year, you know, I, I got a good taste of it. Dude was locking in on me, knowing I was a shooter. Um, I had to expand my game a little bit, put the ball on the floor a little bit. But we got a taste of that last night, especially me and Brandon, that they were not letting us breathe out there. So, you know, it, it definitely will prepare us for a conference. Right behind your shoulder, Jermaine Taylor is, was one of the greatest players to put on a uniform and played in this building. I know he's part of the staff this year, kind of mentoring you guys. What's it like kind of working with him? Has he imparted some wisdom or guidance to, to you players, or what have you kind of learned from Jermaine? Nah, definitely. He just um, gives us the ins and outs, you know, what he did, what he still does. Um, he just talked talk to me a lot about stretching and things like that, um, how the NBA is, how overseas is. He just gives a lot of his basketball wisdom to us. So it's good having him around. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Good luck, Dan.